This video is for first grade, uh, focusing in on balancing equations, all right? But this time we're really gonna go with uh, imagining that the students uh, have some number sense and they're uh, doing pretty well with knowing their facts. We've looked at how to use manipulatives, we've looked at how to use drawings, and now we're gonna look at, hey, these students are really know their facts, so we may not need some of that. Now, if your students are struggling or they're getting them wrong, incorrect, you wanna go back to the drawings or the manipulatives. But here I have three plus two equals five. All right, well, when I think about it, if I know my facts and I know that three plus two is five, then I can look at that and say that's true. Five is equal to five. Five is the same as five. Now I have six equals four plus three. All right, so I have six. And then I know that four plus three is seven, or I'm gonna count up in my head. I put four in my head and I count up three five, six, seven, and then I can look at that and I can know that's not true. That's going to be false. And then what if I have two plus one is the same as or equal to two plus two? Is that true? So let's see. Two plus one, I know that two plus one is three, and I know my doubles, two plus two is four, and that is false. Uh, three is not the same as four, all right? So let's step it up a bit, and I've got four minus two is the same as or equal to three plus uh, two. Is that true or false? So four minus two equals three plus two. If I've got four and I take away two, um, I know that the, the difference is two, or I can think of this as reverse, um, think of it as an addition fact, and I know that my doubles two plus two equals four, so that could help me too. And then I have three plus two. I can think of this as a near double. I know that two plus two is four plus one more would be five. So is two equal to five? Are they the same? That would be false. Now, what if we have three plus what is equal to four plus one? All right, so three plus, we have a missing add in, four plus one. Well, I know four plus one is five. And then I start thinking three plus what is five? If I know my facts, I may automatically know that a two needs to go there. Um, I can also count up if I'm at three, I'd have to count up four, five. So those are just different strategies that students could use to be able to solve that, to make it true. 